Okay, now you tell me that wasn't fun, packing that baby bag. Like, packing a baby bag gets you all excited, and I know you guys are ready to meet your baby, but now that we are finished that, we are going to pack a bag for ourselves. So let's pack our labor bag, let's go. Okay y'all, so I know this is a lot of stuff and I'm gonna explain it all. I'm just gonna give you a brief show really quick of everything that I have here. So as you can see, this is what I have sitting out. This is what I have sitting out. And then of course my bag. So I'm gonna start with this area here. I specifically have my rubber bands right here i have my edge brush a comb edge control gel and flat irons this is for me because when i am in a hospital i like to have my hair products because i don't want my hair to look a mess especially if you're like me and you kind of go in natural you know with your real hair you don't really want to do too much to it so i want to make sure my hair is straight because nine times out of ten i have wavy hair and after delivering a baby my hair is going to curl up and probably poof out that's what the flat irons are for they're here to be my lifesavers they're here so that i can um straighten my hair back out um, and then I have my edge control to lay my baby hairs along with the edge brush. And my comb would be for the eco. It's also to lay the rest of my hair down. I don't really use a hair brush. I kind of like the comb because it kind of tees through the hair completely. And then, of course, my rubber bands, which is this here, to go ahead and tie them all up. I also have house shoes. Um, I know they give us socks inside of there. But... I prefer to wear house shoes when I'm inside of the um, clinic because it's more comfortable for me. It's suitable. My feet feels, you know, better. It makes me feel more at home. When I'm in a hospital, I want to feel more at home. I don't want to feel like I'm in the hospital. So wearing my comfortable house shoes always makes me feel at home. Um, next, we are going to move here to my clothes. I know this is a lot of clothes and you are probably like, well, why does she have that many clothes? <laughs> Um, so for me, and I am missing one item when it comes to my clothing, I haven't got it yet because I was going to wait till uh, next weekend to get it, but it's supposed to be my go home clothes. So what you see here is my maternity underwear. I personally prefer to use maternity underwear when I have the baby because although you push that baby out, your belly, which is this area here, your belly is still there. Like it doesn't go away that fast. So you still have a belly there. So this right here is comfortable on your belly as it's going down. And then you also have the space that you need for any pads that you may wear because you, you are gonna need them. Cause you know, of course, after you have the baby, you start to go through the postpartum bleeding. So you wanna make sure that you can bleed comfortably and your stomach is still comfortable as well. It won't feel like you're like tightening up or anything, especially when a cramp starts to kick in. So that's what the underwear are there for. Um, I also have my own pair of socks. The hospital, they do give you socks. They give you socks. I just prefer to bring my own sometimes. So I brought myself one pair just in case, um, you know, even though I have my house shoes over here. So I brought myself that one pair. When it comes to my clothes, the clothes that you see here, these are actually my clothes to wear while I'm inside the hospital. Um, and I know that you guys, they give us a... A hospital gown that we can wear but as I stated before I like to feel comfortable when I'm in a hospital after I just had a baby I don't want to feel like I'm in the hospital um, especially for us single moms who have to be in a hospital by ourselves I don't want to feel like I'm just in the hospital you know like I want to be comfortable when I'm walking around so what I did was I got myself a shirt here and I bought this from Walmart, you guys. All of this stuff you see here came from Walmart. But this here, it is my um, sleeping shirt. So it's like a muscle t-shirt. And then it comes with the pants. As you can see, these, I don't think they match. I actually threw these together. <laughs> I threw these together. So yeah, I have pants just in case it's cold in there. And, um, you know, I need some pants. So I got the pants for that. The pants are comfortable enough for me to wear when I'm wearing like my underwear or the pads and stuff is to make sure I can still move comfortably. But I specifically chose them just in case it's cold inside. 
um i won't have to freeze as much i also have this here this is like a pair of shorts um make sure your shorts are comfortable though so my shorts will be these their pajamas as you can see and it goes with this beautiful mermaid shirt who doesn't love mermaid everybody loves mermaid so yeah it goes with this uh mermaid muscle t-shirt and it is to basically be comfortable as well so i like to make it to where i have something for if i get too cold or if i get too hot you know well let's switch that around if i get too hot <laughs> i'm like messing it up already that was correct the first time. If I get cold, I wear the pants set. If I am hot, I wear the short set. Um, normally inside the hospitals, they have a thermostat in each pregnancy room. So if they have the thermostat in there, nine times out of 10, you can change your air. But if you're like me, you may have hot flashes sometimes and you need to just change your clothes or whatever, whatever it is. So that's why I have that. And then, um, speaking of hot, I also like to bring a fan. I know you guys don't see that there. I'm still working on getting my fan, but I like to bring a fan, like a little portable one that maybe you can put on a bed, uh, the real part of the hospital bed or something to blow if you get hot, because it always works. It kind of helps cool down. So if you have hot flashes a lot, I recommend getting a portable fan. This here is kind of similar to what they make us put on in a hospital the hospital gown except it doesn't smell like hospital it smells like home <laughs> so this is just a gown basically um like a long little shirt that i can be comfortable in but again i'm only comfortable in it because it came from home right guys and it has my home smell so i still feel like i'm at home when i'm wearing my gown and when I have my house shoes to wear with it while I'm carrying my baby around, it still feels comfortable for me. It still feels like I'm at home versus me wearing a hospital gown that I just finished pushing my baby out of in and it's probably uncomfortable and the arms are falling off and whatnot. So I like to make sure I'm comfortable when it comes to the clothing. The last thing you see right here um, is my maternity bras because as mothers, when we deliver those babies, the milk start to come out, right? You want to make sure that you have bras, which this one here is covered, so I'm going to just show you guys the next one. But you want to make sure you have your bras and they look like this because if you are breastfeeding, you can press this button here. It opens up your bra, which is actually the this is where your breast will actually be <laughs> and you can just open it up and breastfeed your baby without having to take the bra off completely or anything so that's where that bra come in also make sure you have breast pads inside of your bag i have breast pads i'm not sure why they're not sitting here i will have to add them after the video sorry you guys in advance because i am a little unprepared and i am sitting here packing my bag and i still have like some of the things that i need to get but when you hear me mention these things to get and you feel like you may want them, make sure to include them on your list. So remember I said to get a portable fan if you have hot flashes. I also said um, make sure you have to go home clothes. I don't have my clothes that I need for when I go home. I'm still currently getting that. And that is just like when you're leaving out the hospital and, you know, you don't want to wear your pajamas. You, you may want to wear like, maybe like some slacks or maybe a sundress if it's summer or something like that. So just make sure you have your um, home clothes that you're going to need when you're going home. And then this would be the next thing here that I put in my bag. It is the toothpaste and of course toothbrush. And then with all of that comes your deodorant. So this is basically the hygiene stuff. I also like to bring my own soap here. I personally have sensitive skin, so I don't like to use like a lot of um, certain soap. I use specific ones. And because of that, I don't want to use the hospital soap. Now, I'm not saying that their soap is bad. I'm just saying that I prefer to use my own because of my the skin that I have. Um, so when I take a bath, I want to be able to bathe in my soap and feel comfortable like I would if I was at home. I want my skin to, uh, to feel smooth. 
I also have my toothpaste because of course I want to have fresh breath. <laughs> like I don't want to be up in there and I'm like, oh my goodness, I've been here all day and I feel stinky. No, I want to be comfortable. I want to be able to use my own toothbrush that works nice for me with my own toothpaste. I want my own deodorant that makes me feel comfortable so that I can feel comfortable because that is the main part of a labor bag. You pack everything you need so that you can feel comfortable. So that's where that comes in. I also have pads and I'm not going to take the whole box. I'm just going to take some of it out. Um, but I have these pads because these, um, and I don't know if, if you guys have heard of them, but these are the always and these are flex foam. I have this kind because if you're like me and you don't really want to feel like a lot of your, um, you know, just blood just all over you, the best thing to do is to wear like something like this because it helps keep you dry. So if you're walking, you won't feel like you're wet or anything. It'll feel dry. It'll feel comfortable, especially as someone who is... um just delivered pads is not something you have to pack in your bag because they will give you some however i only pack mines because i don't like to wear like <laughs> something that's uncomfortable and for me i may not bleed as heavy or it, it may be something that's manageable and it's just more comfortable to walk around in your flat pads that you have or whatever it is that you wear with your actual maternity underwear because it's more comfortable for you. Not something that may be too big for you or it may be too small or it may be uncomfortable. So I always bring my own set of pads just in case, you know, I don't wanna wear what they have. I always try to bring some of my pads. Um, so these are some of the things that I do have when you actually go into the hospital and i do have the camera like facing at this right now but it's not about this part but when you go into the hospital and you're kind of like going alone make sure you have your phone charger because <laughs> charger is a big thing you don't want to get inside of there and then your phone dies and you can't reach anyone or your phone dies and if you're like me and you're on social media you can't get on social media <laughs> um also i would say take a few snacks because you may get in there and they have like set times when it comes to delivery where you can eat and where you can't eat and i would prefer to just eat um like the little snacks i have it could be as small as graham crackers maybe saltine crackers it could be um a cranberry juice that you want to bring uh a, a side of bag of chips or whatever like something like that that you know will be comfortable for you while you're in there um so i definitely recommend snacks um, that's pretty much it when it comes to me, I guess, or I believe so. I think that's it when it comes to me for my labor bag. So I also like to make sure I have a bag that's big enough for my clothes. As you can see, it's the luggage. I like to have something that's big enough for my clothes and all of my items here so that when I deliver and I'm taking like the extra stuff that the doctor is giving me home, because they do give you, they let you take whatever pads that you have left in your restroom. Um, the gown that you wear, they let you take that. You have like an ice cup, you can take your ice cup. Um, whatever blankets you may have inside of your um, container they let you take all of that stuff home so make sure you have something where you can still pack your items and you still have a little bit of space to you know add more um, stuff inside of there if you're like me um, and then if you are when it comes to the hygiene part if you don't like wearing or using other people's towel and you like a specific draw towel or bathing towel I also recommend using your own towel I'm, I'm not really picky when it comes to that I'm only picky when it comes to the soap because I need my specific soap but make sure you have everything that you need possible that is going to make you comfortable while you're in that hospital you're going to have your baby he or she is going to be adorable and they're going to look handsome or beautiful inside of their outfits and you can also feel comfortable after just going through pushing a baby out because pushing that baby out was a lot of work and now you're tired and you know it's it's a lot i know it feels like a relief but it still feels kind of overwhelming sometimes so to just be able to wear things that are comfortable on your body or use your products that you use at home or just as little as being able to still do your hair and look nice while you're in the hospital it all works it makes the stay even better um i also want to recommend one more thing before i let you guys go the hospital they do have television and you can watch tv there but 
if you prefer to watch like your own shows or something like that and you don't really use your phone as much or it doesn't really work on your phone I would suggest bringing like a laptop, a tablet, a computer, whatever it is that you watch, what you watch on there so that you can be comfortable and you don't feel like bored while you're inside the hospital, you know, um, especially again, if you're a single mom like me and you don't really have anybody to go with you, make sure you bring whatever it is necessary so that you can be comfortable. I want to thank you guys again for watching my video and see you guys next time. Boom.